Hey everyone, today we are in Massachusetts. Today is June, um, April 30th. Tomorrow's gonna be May 1st. So right now we're getting a ton of heavy rain, not torrential rain, there's not much wind. We did actually find one street that we were able to drain today, but for the most part, the roads are just not flooding. So right now with this heavy rain, I'm rushing to a certain dirt road that I know could potentially wash out because I know it's probably blocked. Every single time I go to it, there's always a big plug in the culvert by the beavers. And today, we're rushing there right now. It's about 10 at night. By the time we get there, it'll probably be about 11. We're gonna quickly unplug that pipe. It should take no more than five minutes. That's usually what it takes. I'm gonna leave um, camera number one here in the vehicle, and I'm gonna get out with camera number two on a lighted tripod, and we'll quickly get that thing out of the way. We should arrive pretty soon. This guy in front of me is going really slow, about 15 under the limit. He mustn't be able to see too well. There's a lot of cars built up behind me. I just wish the person behind me would give the same amount of distance I'm giving. He's like right on me wanting to go by. Still haven't seen any floods, just that big puddle we went through, but that's just a sunken part of road that settled over the years. It's always very enjoyable riding through these really nice rainstorms, I should say. All right, everyone, we made it onto the dirt road. We should be there in not too many more miles. aren't that bumpy so I'm able to go a good speed down them. I feel more comfortable going fast on these curvy roads at night because you'd see another headlight coming towards you unlike in the day you gotta watch it around every corner very much. Right here it looks like the road's getting a little bit soft but we should be coming up to an area with a giant flood. We just drained it maybe a couple days ago, but it, that's a probably like a 20 minute job for a beaver. It's a tiny pipe. And with all this rain we're getting today, I'm sure they're gonna cause the road to flood over. It might already be flooding over. We should be there any minute. I know it's along this road. Any minute we're about to come upon it. Going down into a low spot, is it down here? This road's longer than I thought. I've been traveling down this for a good half hour. I think that was the blockage. I just went by something. Um, if there's a gate at the top of this hill, yeah, there is a gate. That means we just passed it. All right. That was it right there where I just thought for a second. I got to turn around. This road's so narrow. It's raining so heavy right now. Okay, we have a little pull in right here. Can back into this little spot. 
All right, we're turning around. Grass is very green. All right, we're going back through the gate. The bottom of this hill is where the beavers are a problem. We did not see a crossing the road, but I do expect a blockage from them because we were just here a couple days ago and this is a very easy, easy one for them. The rain is getting heavier and heavier right now. Where is it? Oh, I hear a lot of frogs. Is this it? Um, maybe a little further. while going around this island. Nope. It may have passed it again. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for a body of water to my right. Come on, don't pass it a third time. That's a decent body of water. It should be like the only open spot. Unless it was back there before that island. I had to have been back before the island. Right? Yeah, it had to. I think we gotta turn way around again. Yep. We'll find it eventually. I'm a little bit lost, I think. I know where I am. I'm just looking for a certain pipe that I know is gonna be plugged. a very tight road so there is no water here oh yeah there's water here it looks like the beavers just didn't show up I was expecting water right against the road so this must be a secondary pond doesn't look like we have anything to do let me get my headlamp on wow listen to the sound of the tree frogs Do we see any? They're loud. Ah, uh, those beavers were definitely here. They're working on it right now. Look at that. Those beavers are working on it. There's so many frogs, but they're so small, we probably won't even see one. Any frogs? See any? You guys might see one that I don't see later on. It sounds like they're coming from everywhere, but I don't see one. These ones don't scare easily. Sometimes you do that and they all are suddenly quiet until you go away. It is so hard to see these. These frogs are so tiny that are making that noise and they blend in perfectly. You have to really get down on the ground like I am now crouched and I'm looking very, very carefully on the ground. And I probably won't even find one. Let's, they're tree frogs, so maybe they're in the bushes. Yeah, there's really not that much of a blockage here today. But we were here just last week doing this one. It's barely blocked. We'll come back and do this again during the daytime sometime. Now that I know this road's not going to wash out 
during tonight is going to be torrential rain throughout the night. So we're going to go move back into the city for a little while. And we'll come back out here maybe next week and get this. The beavers will have it probably fully blocked by then. But I just came out here to make sure we wouldn't find that the road is about to wash out. I expected them to do more. So yeah, it's probably a secondary pond based off how they didn't even do anything. So a location like this is basically a side project to the beavers. Their goal is to conserve water for droughts. And this right here, they may have done a little, they might be gone for a while, they might do a little more. With a secondary pond, they might not even block it back up for a month. Sometimes they'll show up immediately, but that right there tells us at the moment that is not a primary pond at all. It might become one in the future, yes, but for the time being, it is not. So we're gonna make our way back into the cities while we got a good amount of rain. I've been driving around in the cities and I just came out here. We've been doing this for probably half the day. We found one flooded road, but when I say flooded, it's only a couple inches. It's, we have not found a road that's had over a foot of water in years. The DOT has been snuffing us out as far as those type of videos for a while. But I'm hoping we get something later today. I'm going to head back into the cities because in a few hours we're supposed to get very torrential rain and wind. You need wind to be able to blow things into the road, knock things out of trees, really get things in the road that the current can bring over to the drains and plug them. Heavy rain by itself doesn't always do that because a lot of the roads now are clean because they are completely going around and sweeping all the time. We really lit a fire underneath them and now we can't really find much when we're going around storm chasing anymore. Thanks for watching. If I do find anything, it'll be in an upcoming video. And have a great night. Frog crossing the road. We made it back into the bush. This is the middle of nowhere, so... It's not like we gotta make sure they make it off the road. There's water all over the woods. But... If I'm able to, I always stop so I don't hit the frog. I wouldn't do that if there was people behind me, like in the middle of a main road. But at this hour, it's now 11 o'clock, there's nobody around. Gotta break for the frog. If it's safe to do so, I should say. There's a frog in the road. Let's get that guy out. Well, we are in the middle of nowhere, so what does it matter? Another car's not going to go by for maybe a day. What does it matter?